All is quiet here at the Pepsi Center a day before the Avalanche kick off their season. 24 hours from now, people will be lining up here waiting to get inside to watch the Avalanche. But if you can't make it to the game, you probably won't be able to watch it. The games won't be on TV. Well, they've got to come to a resolution. The talk of the bar is usually about what's on TV. Uh, I mean, as far as hockey, that's our lifeblood here. Today, we want to be able to watch the game. Everyone's focus is on what won't be on the screen. Our loyalty that we've given our team for years is kind of being disrespected at this rate. Hockey jerseys are enshrined on every wall. Old sticks mark the spot where players signed autographs and fans drank to forget the score. I have a lot of love for the Avalanche, yeah. Sobo 151 is a hockey bar. Is there at least a game on tonight? An Avalanche bar that can't show Avalanche games. I know it all comes down to money for everybody, but we don't care about that. We just want to watch the Avalanche play. The contract dispute between Altitude and cable and satellite providers that put the games on TV will likely carry on into the beginning of the season. If you want to watch the game, you better have a ticket to get inside. It's just hurting the fans but it is also killing local business. So on the eve of the season open. For us as a bar, it's not gonna be good if we don't have it on TV for the fans and our customers. The liquor is flowing. Here's to maybe getting the Avalanche back Woo! on TV soon. In hopes they'll get a shot to watch the abs on TV. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, Nine News. Wow, just go there and follow Twitter. <laughs> anyway, Comcast Dish and DirecTV dropped Altitude Sports after its contracts expired after last season. The cable providers say Altitude is demanding too much money, while the sports network says it's working to make a deal that is fair to both sides. So